Hi, my name is Mara McFalls. Welcome to Panasonic's Picture Perfect. I'm here today with my friend Jeff, who is a professional photographer, and we just got back from this great trip out to Colorado. We had a great time, too. We took, what, hundreds of pictures? Definitely. There are so many cool things to take shots of, and I know that I want to mail a couple of them over to my mom, email them, sure. and then maybe put some up on the wall, hang them in no frames. No problem. Okay, but I have no idea how to get them out of this camera and do all that stuff. Well, let me walk you through what I like to call the digital workflow. Okay. Why don't we head over to your computer and get started? All right. You open the door on the left hand side of the camera. Alrighty. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you want to hook it up to this cable that came with the camera. Alright? We've got it hooked up to the computer. Before you turn it on, though, one of the things I'd like you to do is learn to create a folder that we can then move the images over to, okay? So, file, new folder? Right. Okay. Now, typically, I like to name this something that's that helps me remember where I was, what I was doing. Usually, the date's a good idea. Okay, so the date, maybe Colorado vacay? Absolutely. That works for me. Okay. Now, go ahead and turn the, cam the camera on. Hit the select button. Okay. Now, very simply, the software launches right on your computer there. And go ahead and hit download. Oh, here they come right away. You see how easy that is? Yeah. All right. Now, while we're waiting for those to download, okay. the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go through all these images, maybe select a couple that we really like. Okay. We can adjust them, uh, maybe turn some into black and white, keep some color. We can change the tones and stuff. We can also resize them. Now, what we can do with resizing is maybe make some prints, um, hang some new prints on the cool. wall, and also size them for the internet, so you can send some emails off to friends. Okay. The other great thing is this has a slideshow program, and we can create a slideshow of your Colorado vacation trip and show it on your television set. On the TV? On the TV. Oh, I want to start with the one where Elizabeth is standing in front of the mountain, you know, the one at oh, sure, I Echo remember. Lake. Let's go ahead and select that photo of Elizabeth in your image editing software. Okay. Okay. Oh, there she is. Now, the first thing I'd like to do is adjust the color and the brightness. All right. Okay. Go to the fix tool over here on the right. All right. Okay, come down to color adjust. color adjust. And with the toggle, you can adjust the U and the saturation to your liking. Ooh, I love that. See how easy that is? Yeah, it's really blue. And it's really bringing out the clouds nicely. Yeah. Okay. Another thing that you can do here is you can take the saturation completely out and turn this into a black and white photo. Go ahead and Just try that. Slide that down. Okay, now to make it even better, why don't you hit the color tone button? Okay. And you can oh, make yeah. all sorts of Very sepia cool. tones, selenium tone types of oh, look. Yeah. So, those are your artistic you yeah. know, possibilities there. Frame those. Now, let's go back to that original image okay. where you had the color exactly oh. the way you want it. Okay. Now, is there a way to make it up just like a little bit brighter? Sure. Go to the brightness and contrast oh, selection. Brightness. It's right there. Okay. Good. Now you can move these to the right or the left. Oh, and if we make this contrast a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's okay. perfect. Yeah, I like that. All right. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to crop it so that you can use this new printer and, and perhaps make a print and okay. hang it on the wall. All right? Go to crop. Go to crop. Oh, this okay. is where you can choose 4x6. Sure. Or... From the drop-down menu, why don't you make a selection? Yeah, 4x6 okay. is perfect. That fits this right. printer. Okay. Um, take the mouse up into the upper left-hand corner. Okay. Click and drag. Okay. Okay. See how easy that is? Yeah. Now just move it around the way you want it. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, okay. I want to put her all the way to that one side. Okay. Okay. Once you're ready, hit crop. Oh, perfect. All right, you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to print. But before we do that, let's save this image file. Okay. All right, I might name it Elizabeth Print. So just go file, save as. Right. Okay. What we're doing is we're saving another copy. We never want to change our original file. Okay. Okay. All right. Perfect. We're ready to print. Just Go print. ahead and hit print. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. I want to send this to her. Why don't you email her a copy? Oh, okay. I can show you how to do that. Okay. Why don't we come up here to the send button? Okay. Simply press it. Okay. Type in her email address. Okay. And hit send. All right. Piece of cake. Easy. Why don't we put a slideshow together? All right. Okay. Come up here and select a few images from that folder. All right. 
Come to the top and select Slideshow. Come down to Produce. Now, this offers two options. You can change the duration of each of these images in between in between images. All right. How about like eight seconds? That's for great. Each? Okay. okay. And you can also change the transition style. All right. I want to do one where it's oh here wipe like slide across. Okay. Okay. Now come down to preview. Why don't you turn around and take a look at your new Panasonic TV? Oh, cool. Oh, look, there's Red Rocks. Oh, that's so cool. Now, let me show you another great feature. Hand me that camera for a second. Okay. Follow me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the SD memory card right out of the camera. Okay. Okay. And open up this right in the front of the television. Slide that memory card right into the pocket. There. I didn't even know what that was for. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. Hit SD. And then you can toggle through and pick which image you want to start the slideshow with. So you can do a slideshow right from your camera on your TV. Yes. Why don't we watch the rest of the slideshow from your couch? Oh, great idea. So cool. To find out more ways to get that picture perfect, go to www.panasonic.com slash lumix.